Jeremy Cook here, and about a month ago I got an Ender 3 V2 Neo 3D printer. I've been printing all kinds of stuff, and it's been a pretty awesome printer. In this video, I'll go over some of the little setup stuff that I've done, including mounting a camera for awesome Octolapse time-lapse video. I'll also show some of the time-lapses that I've done, and then show some of the stuff that I've made, and how I use them. So let's get started. Got my camera mounted here. I, I had it mounted pretty shoddily before, but hopefully that'll point it out at it nicely. I made this mount earlier. I think I put a video out of a, on it on uh, a laser cutter. So anyway, I got that there. Got to reposition my uh, Raspberry Pi, which I have here. I've got the JC Pi Pro Tech on it, so that uh, should be good. Can remount that. Also, I had to get this hilariously long cable. I'm not a huge fan of these ribbon cables, especially in this ultra long configuration, but should be okay. And I've, I've got it available, so, so why not? Should be the easiest way to get this done. These are pretty nice. I got the M5, M5 bolts, M3 bolts, all nicely labeled. Probably a little bit of extra organization, maybe even more than I need, but it does look quite nice. And plus I got the green for the M5 and the uh, granite for the M3. And then some of these I hadn't printed before. So I'm quite happy with how it's organized. And then I've got the my dev boards from earlier looking pretty good together. Print in place octopus looks kind of kind of awesome. I mean, I just basically printed this, pulled it off the printer, and it's got these articulated legs. It's been so far pretty much a flawless printer. These 3D prints are models for a circuit board that I'm going to be coming out with hopefully soon. So hopefully you'll see more of that soon, but yeah, it should be a should be a cool one. Or a couple actually. So these are kind of neat. They're just uh, holders for my USB cords, ear pods, what earbuds, earbuds, whatever. Yeah, design these are made, made to use with a um, with a wall anchor. So pretty happy with how this turned out. I'll probably put the file up on GitHub or whatever. Took a revision or two, but I'm quite happy with how that turned out. I made this lamp mount slash cable cable away thing for my desk. Also this one over here. While we're on the subject of desks, I made these ports for from a monitor stand. I actually made these to be undercut so they could have a little bit more strength, like an undercut chamfer. I think it's called maybe like a dog bone or something, reverse dog bone, I don't know. Another model that I did was this gearbox, this planetary gearbox. And as you can see here, if I turn it this way, it goes the other way.
So I wasn't even really planning to get to this point with this project. One thing led to another, a couple of M3 screws, some, some nuts, pretty much hooked up now. So thanks to an Arduino or Clone and Motor Shield. Yeah, everything, just plug it in. Let's see what happens. Really fantastic little device. I mean, it's a little bit, um, you know, makes some, some creaky noises and stuff, but it's got a four to one gearbox and, you know, for what it takes to make it, it's just fantastic, really. I, I'm already thinking of some ideas for using this and obviously for my printer. So I'm really happy about the Enter Ender 3 Neo VT, V2 Neo. Definitely be using this for a lot of projects in the future. Anyway, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. This is Jeremy Cook, signing off.